Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to Attack on Titan. Finally, I'm starting season two. Uh, obviously, I had to watch all these OVAs. Um, it was his journal, I watched that. And I watched A Choice With No Regrets, Levi's Little Backstory thing. They were sick. Uh, I've actually just had to not re-watch episode 25, but I watched snippets of my reaction to it. Because I remember Erin Erin and Annie were fighting. And then I knew she got captured. But I knew there was like an extra 10 minutes at the end of like dialogue. That I kind of forgot about. So I had to kind of remind myself of what happened. But basically the gist of it was. They captured Annie. But she's in like some bubble thing. Like some weird bubble. But they're keeping her underground. Um, the Survey Corps have actually been granted permission to keep Annie and the whole summoning of Erin Jaeger to the military police has been disbanded if that's the right word or it's ended they've they've ended their investigation so Erin is no longer going to the military police Annie is in the survey corps hands and Erwin was basically saying we've captured one of the titans which is a huge step in the progress for mankind which is looking good, but we know Attack on Titan by now. It's, it looks good, it feels good, but we never know if it's actually going to be good. We always know something's up. Something's always around the corner on this show. So, and the cliffhangers are like fucking, oh, don't even get me started on these cliffhangers. These are like some of the worst cliffhangers I've, I've, I've ever experienced. And I don't mean worst as in they're terrible, but the worst as in, it makes you want to watch more. Like it's just it's one of the Attack on Titan is a program that makes you just want to binge the whole season in one day, which is possible, but I'm not going to do that because then I don't think I'd be able to react as much if I watched the whole season in one day. Anyway, this is this is season two, episode one. Now, obviously, some of you who had to wait had to wait four years for season two to come out. That is diabolical. I can't believe you guys had to wait that long for season two I'd be pulling my hair out if I had to wait that long I mean the longest I've waited is two years and that was for Game of Thrones season finale which didn't really live didn't really live up to its expectations but yeah it's just my opinion but it, uh, I've heard good things about season two and season three so it's not like they waited four years and it was shit. Like, they put a lot of effort into season two, which is what I want to hear. It's what I like. Um, I don't really think I need to give a recap. Because I basically said it just then. Annie's captured. She's in control. Or she's um, she's in the hands of the Survey Corps. The military police have ended their kind of quest to, to get Erin. Unless there's more spies at military police that want him alive. I don't know. Um, Annie. I remember actually asking if Annie... If she's in this bubble, is she like Han Solo from Star Wars? Is she going to be alright when she comes out? Or is she going to die in there from starvation? Yeah, it should be interesting. I can see, like, I can see someone... Um, I can see something happening with Annie. I can see her disappearing or something. I can see someone's going to go down there and the 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 bubble thing is going to be there but Annie isn't. I think there's I think someone's going to help her escape. I'm still sticking by my prediction. I don't think Annie is the only spy. But there's too many people at the moment to know who the other spy or spies are. But I'm hoping season 2 gives me a gives me a bit of information as to who who is so from now, from season two, I'm going to be looking at every small bit now. Um, I was kind of doing that with season one, but I was still missing a lot. Like There's a lot of stuff that goes on on Attack on Titan. And obviously, I have to watch like the subtitles version. And I've said quite a few times that I, I like it when it's action sometimes. But for me, what I mean by that is... Whenever there's action, it means I don't have to keep looking at the bottom of the screen to see what's being said. Like, I can actually watch the whole screen and see what's going on. 
but when there's loads of dialogue, sometimes I don't even know who's saying it because the subtitles, they're quite long and they don't appear on the screen for that long. So it's, it takes a lot of concentration and then you kind of have to look up once you uh, when you have time after you've read the subtitles to see who's speaking. Um, I don't get that trouble a lot of the time, but when it's like back and forth, there was like at Aaron's trial, one of the one of the military police was speaking at the bottom, and then Aaron started talking at the top, and I had to like read both like that. It was like crazy. It was so weird. That's why I like a bit of action here and there. So yeah, I'm excited for you guys to watch season two with me. Uh, I might just start to be honest. Let's just go. Let's let's uh, start where we left off, really. Okay, actually, I've just remembered something. Before we start, not like before we start, but something's just come to me again. The thing that was in the walls at the end of the credits of episode 25. I was watching back season episode 25, yeah, just to remind myself what happened. And when Annie fell into that church kind of thing with all the wall lists, and then the reverend or whatever his name is, he saw Annie walk, running towards the walls and he said, no, not the walls, please, not the walls. And then right at the end and the credits, you saw something, the wall kind of crumbled and then you saw like a face, man. So the wall list might be onto something. Whether or not it actually does protect them. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Maybe these titans in the walls are actually friendly and uh, and they're there to defend the city. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, that that's just something I remembered that I want that I wanted to remind you guys that I know of before we head into season two. So cool, let's do this. Oh, this must be uh, a recap because it's been four years. Yeah. <笑>ついにその一人であるアニレオンハートを捕獲することに成功したのが壁が破られてから五年目のことであるジンルイの次なる脅威はこの時すでに迫っていた。Uh, oh no, yet yeah. they take her down. This must be, be be before they take her underground. Oh shit! あれはたまたまあそこだけにいたの。それとももしそうじゃなきゃ。あ、that's the Sunlight gives him energy. I swear I said that. Sunlight gives him energy. So, why not live underground then? Why not live underground? Oh my god, I hope to see all this going on. Oh my god. Whoa, no, no, no. Colossal? Whoa! Dinosaurs? No. Get out of here. I don't believe that. Dinosaurs. Get out of here. Beast Titan, though. Number 26. They must just, like, just go. It must count the episodes. Oh. What? Nah. Who are you? Oh 
Nah, he let something slip there. She's gonna take him. What? So this was before Annie and Erin had a fight? なんで私服で体験なんだ。英断君気になる。訓練をするなだぞ。ああ、それはウォールローゼが突破されたってことだぞ。いや、でスティンク。トーマ、早う間を出せ。お前を含めて4機。確率だよ。おそらく104機調査兵団の中に巨人はいなかった。ウォールローゼは突破された。What the hell? Go on, na banana, na banana, na na banana. What is wrong with these titans' heads? It's almost like it's comical, like it's a comedy. Let's let's see if we can design the weirdest face possible. Oh. I remember that. They showed us a little bit of this in episode 25. I didn't think anything of it. Connie? Come on, Connie. Sounds nervous. Oh, it's a crystal. Okay. Now I know what to call it. I was calling it light blue stuff. It's called crystal. We need Erin to get some of this crystal, baby. Erin. <laughs> My boy, man. That's my boy. Two best friends. Well, Armin's included in that as well. Oh, okay, yeah, Wool Rose. That's the second one. So Wool Maria is still... Still needs to be taken back. Yes, Levi. I love him in this outfit. ミケ文体長が当たったのは正解でしたね。どうにか持ち答えられるかと。ああ。だといいか。Nice. 
this. Little lone wolf right here. He's on his own. This one's got a big nose. Well, big everything. Fucking hell. It's got a really small head though. It won't be able to eat the horse. No. Oh, it doesn't have a small head. His head's tiny! Oh. Oh. You may? You may? しにつけた飛び回るやつ。ま、ま、ま、ま、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ、ぬ
I'm sure of it. That's that's another prediction I've got going as well. But he took he took the eighth the eighth fucking big guy, whatever it is, Sasquatch. What's the myth? What's the myth? Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. I'm gonna call him Bigfoot. But I think his name I think his name might be Ymir. Just from Ilse's journal. Because that Titan from Ilse's journal put I forgot their name. Is it Ilse? It must be Ilse. Ilsa. But that Titan in Ilse's journal put her or him in the tree and then started worshipping. So maybe that Titan got confused. Maybe he thought the tree replicated Bigfoot. So he stuck stuck her in there or him in there. And was just like, Yeah, you're the you're the new Ymir now. Yeah, it must be, man. It must be Ymir. Because he spoke a lot more than that Titan did in the OVA. Bigfoot. So he's taken Maneuver Gear to learn how they move with it. They're going to learn how to counter it. A bit like Annie. Annie knew how Maneuver Gear worked. That's how she was so successful. She would just grab the strings or the rope. And then kill them that way. But this Bigfoot slash Ymir guy, who I think is called Ymir, he's just going to go off and study it. He might even take it back to people. He might take it back to humans to study. But he said to that guy, I'm, I'm sure we, me and you speak the same language. Unless that was his first encounter with a human. I don't know, man. His first encounter with a human that used maneuver gear. Otherwise, why would he take that long to take Maneuver Gear? Huh? I need answers, and I'm going to watch episode two, so I'm going to find out some answers. Not all of the answers, because there's a lot of episodes in Attack on Titan. <clears throat> Where have all these Titans come from as well? They've literally... Unless it's like a retaliation to Annie being captured. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a rescue mission for Annie. What do you think? Oh, but it can't be, because it was 12 hours earlier. And the fight didn't last twelve more than 12 hours. I'm confused. I'm a bit confused. So it went back in time 12 hours. And that's when the Titans were sighted. And then Wall Rose. They got into Wall Rose. They must have got into the wall. Just as Eren woke up from defeating Annie. Like just in time. Because Armin entered the room. Oh my god, there's big trouble. Titans are, Titans are approaching Wall Rose. So this Bigfoot guy could be on his way to Wall Rose then. Because he... I'm sure the Titans that are on the way to Wall Rose now are the same ones 12 hours prior at the villages with Connie, Nabba, Nabba Danada, Nabba, Nabana. I don't know, the chick with short hair. There was a lot of new names as well. New for me anyway, not probably not new for you. They've probably been in it before. But Connie, I've said I liked him in the past. I've forgotten the other names. I think Connie said he was going to go somewhere. And then the blonde guy said he would go. And then he asked his mate, you're coming too, right? And he looked kind of nervous and said, oh yeah, of course, of course I am. I need to, I don't know, fuck, what mission are they going to do? I need to watch that bit again. Okay, so... They were going to split off into four group or four teams. Uh, Connie was going to go to the south. Um, that's where his village was, Connie. Connie's village is south, and that's where the Titans are coming from. So he's going there. I think it might have been Sasha. Sasha might have said she's going to the north. I don't know, but the four separate teams, I take it, they're going in each direction to kind of stop the Titans from progressing forward. That's my take on that. Uh, and Mika. Mika was his name. He rode off on his own to, I don't know, kind of wear the Titans down and buy his team uh, time to get to where they need to go, to the villages. Maybe so they can help evacuate the villages uh, before the Titans get there. That's why Mik wa Mika was kind of there and then obviously he got interrupted by Bigfoot. Okay, okay, cool. I think it's because during that whole 
I missed out on information during the episode, but I've just caught up with it now. But I lost track of what was going on when they were talking. I was reading it, and then it cut to like a formation kind of thing where they, it showed a village. It was like a bird's eye view of a map, and it was a village, and people were being spread out like that. That and I started looking up at that, and then I lost track of the subtitles of what they were saying. So that's what that's what I mean when it's kind of hard to know. Um, fully what's going on so i might do in future i might watch the episode and then kind of skim parts that i think i might need to watch again i'm not going to watch the whole episode again but i'll just go back to the part that i didn't get to watch fully on my first watch so that's what i might do from now on so that so they're being split up into four teams okay cool erin is fine now i mean he still has a band bandage around his head Mikasa has been there. Um, looks like the whole time, looking after him. And then Armin rushed in, said, "Oh my God, Titans are coming!" So it looks like we could see some action from them next episode. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks, guys, for watching my reaction to the first episode. First episode of season two. Very interesting stuff has happened. I'm gonna go watch episode two. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this reaction every single episode from season one is available to watch in full no cuts no edits on my patreon uh the full episode of episode of this episode episode one season two will be up in full as well and if this is if you're watching this episode on youtube that means there's early access to episode two on my patreon in full as well if you don't know what my Patreon is, it's like an extended version of my YouTube with kind of bonus reactions. You get early access. I always put more episodes onto my Patreon ahead of my YouTube, like two or three episodes ahead. So if you fancied it, there's no pressure at all. It's, it's completely up to you. But if you do, I can guarantee you it's worth it because the whole season one is on there. And now that I've just started season two, you'll be getting early access to early episodes to, uh, to season two as well so cool that's up to you i'll leave that up to you guys but yeah um i'm gonna watch episode two now if you want you can watch it with me now on my patreon or you can wait until i upload it to youtube but whatever you decide to do guys take it easy <laughs>